Okay, sorry about that knob. I don't know who he was, but uh, freak sakes, eh? But uh, anyhow, how's it going, tubes? Uh, Bill's T Max here. Of course, you all know that. And if you didn't, now you do. Well, today, oh crap! Freaking tripods. Whoa. Okay, so today, uh, today, what I have to do is reset some monuments. And uh, I had some foundations, like the cement under the monuments, fixed in the spring, and uh, I haven't friggin' seen the guys come back to uh, to uh, set them back up yet. So I got a couple back there that I got to reset, and I was uh, figuring I'd show you guys uh, how I do it. So in this pail here, I haven't had this open for maybe a year. So this stuff is, oh no, oh there's the water in there, Whew. This stuff is the stuff that you use for um, putting between the two stones and you gotta knead it all up like this until it's nice and soft and gushy, which is gonna take a bit I think. It dried a bit but um, you gotta keep a bit of water in there or it'll dry out like this crap here and it goes really hard. But uh, that stuff's dickered there, but uh, geez, I hope the rest of it's okay. I'll have to get uh, kneading a bit, but um, yeah, so let's head back to uh, where we gotta uh, do those stones up and I'll uh, show you what's happening. Okay, so we're here live on location. Well, at least I'm live on location. Uh, and I found a turkey feather. He's uh, kind of neat looking, but uh, freaking lots of turkeys around here, eh? I don't see them right now, but uh, I'm sure they're around here somewhere. It's four big ones that keep running around here. They don't seem to want to jump in my freezer for some reason. Anyways, there's a uh, new cement that we had put in. That's the top piece, and then the bottom piece, and then the form from the cement. So what we got to do now is. Um, have a look at everything here and make sure we're all good and clean still and uh, we're not dickered. I'm going to need two hands of course for that. And uh, give the cement maybe a little brush off and uh, we'll uh, get her. I just brought my cart back. Two old cart. Normally you use like a crane or you know backhoe or something for with, with the straps on her and strap them and do them that way. But uh, these ones aren't that big so I just... Uh, do my cart method and uh, then we'll freaking cheech. Okay, so we're looking good. Get her up on the cart here. Okay, so we got her down, and then, then you see some of this, uh, the old crap on here too, right? Some of this old sealer stuff, so we gotta make sure we get it all 
scraped out. Best we can anyways. I'm gonna put you down here, I think. Right up. Okay, pretty solid there, so uh, I just got to center it now as best I can in that uh, top piece, and uh, we're looking good. Okay, tube, so now what I got to do is take some of this lead and uh, cut some chunks, roughly about that size-ish off, four of them, four... So what I do with these now is I put these underneath the stone on the corners and that allows it to uh, sink down to the goopy stuff that thick and not anymore so it doesn't push that stuff right out and you lose it all, right? So these just go in the corners. Just like that. And... Uh, now we get the goopy stuff out and uh, spread her out to like a thin, streamy, liney stuff and uh, put it around the base of that thing. So this stuff's sort of like playing with Play-Doh, right? It's best if you can get her warmed up real nice. And uh, you can see the bits of crap in it though, like it stuff's dried out a bit on the top. And she all gets mixed in, so you know, it's not the super best way to do it, but I don't use this stuff really enough to uh, Keep it freshish like that, right? Or you know, the monument guys, they'd go through a pail of that probably in a week or, or less. Maybe a couple of them a week, I don't know. But um, yeah, we just gotta mush this down a bit. Get her all sort of, I like it to get it, you know, as warm as your hands are kind of thing. So it's nice and sticky and pliable. And uh, then we'll just put it around the, the base of the stone. Okay, so I got her pretty good now. It sticks to my hand a bit, right? So. I kind of like to set them like that, so I just have to uh, roll it thinny like, you know, just enough so you get a little blob of a seal there, and uh, I like to do a little extra, like some guys, they, they'll go like, like that, you know, and it's like, dude, there's freaking nothing left there now, you know, like, you should have, you know, about this much maybe seal under there, right, and that holds her down for a long time, you know, this stuff does dry out, as you can see, that other crap. Was dried out, eh? So I like to go something like that. And uh, start there. Basically enough that it'll just barely fit under with the, the, the gap you left there, right? So yeah, that just come out of the pail so you can see how it's all crusty and crappy and really, really hard stuff, eh? So if you need that for about five minutes, it'll uh, soften all up again.
There we go, tubes. How's that for speed needing, eh? Freak, that'd be nice if it was that fast all the time, but see now we're a lot gooier, right? Without it falling right apart like before, so we should be good for the rest. Putting it around the, the base here. Okay, this is the big thing here. Okay, here we go. Now what we gotta do is get under here, just under that lip. And you just gotta pull the stone up enough so you can pull your stick out. And then quickly shove this in before you drop it down on your fingers. Let her down, then pull her out. See how it's squeezing that crap out there now, right? Same dewy here. Just pick her up a bit, get the weight off. Pull the stick, shove your crap in. Let her down. And it's amazing how the weight of that stone will push most of your crap out for you, right? As long as you got a good uh, bead of that stuff around there, she'll uh, pretty well seal itself. So now we just let that sit for five or ten minutes. But uh, we're not looking too bad. A little bit there that should push itself out more, but it will eventually sink down enough it'll sit on that lead, right? Like it probably has over here. So yeah, we'll give her a few minutes and uh, let her squish some more and then we'll uh, trim the excess off. Okay, so we're going to try this knife cam. I don't know if it's going to work, but... That's the knife cam. And now we just peel this extras off here. You know? So you get a fair bit back, eh? Whoop, sorry I zoomed in. You get a fair bit back out of her. You know, that's another good hunk there, so. Uh, knife cam. That's it, we're not doing too bad. So there we go, tubes are all nicely trimmed and uh, sitting good. And there's how much I got back, so, you know, it's almost like a whole another blob there, right? That I was pushing in to begin with, so you get quite a bit back, but, you know, a lot of it'll be inside a good inch or two, so, yeah. So, freaking, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's go to the, uh, World's most amazing fact. Mmm, son of a cigarette! Oh my goodness! Now it's time for the world's most amazing facts. Oh, thank you, Pug One. Holy frig. Uh, hope you didn't blow a nut there, buddy. That uh, seems like you need a backhoe for pulling them poles out. Uh, anyhow, for today's most amazing fact, let's go with. Uh, a uh, Nazi leader, Adolf Hitler, had only one testicle. And hopefully he never used that one either, because we don't need any more of them little buggers running around. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a hot one too! <laughs> Uh, until tomorrow, don't let the vultures get you. Don't eat bugs. Don't eat bugs.